How to play heck. Two to four players, ages 14 and up. Play time 15 minutes. In heck, you take on the role of some very lonely snakes who desperately need to make some friends. So it's high time you get on out there and impress some critters with your hiss, slither, length, and chomp. And if that don't work, well, you can call some heck. The first snake to make five critter friends, or three critter friends who speak the same nonsense word, wins. Set up. Go on and give everybody a tiny screen and three green eggs, then put the rest back in the tiny box. The three brown eggs are placed in the middle. Shuffle the critter deck, heck deck, and snake deck, creating three draw piles. Go on and draw three critter cards face up. These will be the active critters. Now it's time to move on to gameplay. Each round you're gonna draw a new snake and place it face up behind your tiny screen. Don't let nobody see it now, it's a secret. Now take a gander at the three face up critters you got here. Each of them are impressed by one or more of your traits, so you're gonna have to bid the highest number of eggs in order to win them as a friend. Each round plays in two phases, the betting phase and the reveal phase. The betting phase. Players place their egg tokens on their snake card in any combination of the following. On an attribute such as hiss or chomp. In the hex space, or you can play it snake, if <laughs> that's cute, by placing all of your eggs in the middle of your snake card. Next round, you will get to start with an extra brown egg, if available. The reveal phase. All players lift their tiny screens, revealing all their bets. If anyone played it snake, <laughs> go on and get you a brown egg right now. If anyone betted on a hex base, beginning with who bet the most, draw one hex card for each egg you bet. If there's a tie, whoever has the least critter friends draws first. If there's still a goddamn tie, whoever strings heck the loudest draws first. Before we move on, you're gonna need to resolve them heck cards immediately. Unless, of course, it says to hold on to it. Winning Critter Friends If you place the most eggs on either Hiss, Slither, Length, or Chomp, you win the new Active Critter Friend with the same attribute on its card. But if you see a little number on that attribute, you oughta done bet at least that many eggs to win its affection for you. If there's a tie, you oughta leave that critter there. This ain't Utah, one at a time, folks. Some critters only got a heck on them. These critters can only be won if you draw a heck and friendship heck card. Alright, now that we got that settled, go on and display your new critter friends in front of you for all the other snakes to see. Next round. If any critter friends were won this round, draw some more so that you have three active critters. Then everybody discards their snake and draws a new one. It's time to win that game. The first player to make five critter friends, or a click of critters, which means three critters who speak the same nonsense word, bleep, 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 wins the game. And if you're just having a heck of a time, well then go on and keep playing until someone makes seven critter friends or a click of four. The end. Well, that done wraps it up, folks. If you had a heck of a time watching this here video, well then go on and hit them like and subscribe buttons. It keeps the critters happy. If you want even more, go on yonder to Instagram, and while you're at it, head on over to BoardGameTutorials.com. Y'all come back now, you hear?